Welcome on, my name is Tavis and uh, the Need for Speed beat the heat. I don't know actually. But for those living under a rock, there is a new Need for Speed game announced. We have a teaser trailer and a logotype and everything. It's come out this October, I think it was. And it probably, I haven't checked yet, but it probably has a metric ton of pre order collector's editions and such as, because it's EA after all. Now, if you're sitting in Need for Speed land, this is interesting. If you're looking off on outside Need for Speed land, you're wondering if this might perhaps be the last hurrah, basically, the last chance for Need for Speed to actually do something. Because slowly but surely, Need for Speed has become whipped left and right by Forza Horizon and the crew. And that is not good. The once king of arcade racers, the creme de la creme, has been relegated to a on rails mobile game with great graphics. Okay, it's a bit harsh, but basically this new game pulls from the three big uh, legacy names in a lot of ways. It is what it looks like. Could be wrong. We only have a teaser trailer to go by, but it seems like they're pulling from Most Wanted, Underground, and Pro Street, making this a uh, greatest hits album, basically. And this is dangerous. For pulling from Pro Street, this had a very different driving model compared to modern Need for Speed games. More akin to... More akin to Force, actually. Not as well developed, but more akin to... And... Um, Newer games just haven't had that. The, the driving physics have been sloppy. The game has felt on rails. More like a mobile title. Not as bad, but more like. And uh, this game now promised a completely new driving model, and I think the game desperately needs it, because it's not fun to drive in the Speed game. Things are not acting the way you think they're going to act. Or you expect them to act. But uh, I'm not saying the other games are perfect either. But the crew is notoriously broken in pretty much every conceivable way. And while tossing a multi million dollar sports car, luxury sports car, out of a cliffside in the Scottish Highlands, I think it is, Edinburgh, it's fun. The horizon is pretty repetitive. So this could be interesting. It mixes uh, illegal underground stuff during the nights and a legal street racing event scene during the day. You earn rep on the street and you earn cash on the track. It's an interesting concept that allows you a fair amount of uh, duality. But all of this will be for naught if the driving isn't tight. And I have really no hopes. I've given up on Need for Speed games. I'm Migrate, migrate to Forza entirely, and I've been there from the start, from the road and track Need for Speed, all the way through all the games. Okay, right up to the reboot called Need for Speed, and then at the point I was like, Ugh. I even played the run for a bit, and that was not a good game. But as I said, slowly but surely driving became bad compared to the other games. It was... The game does a lot for you. It's basically easy, easy mode. Where game does things for you, whether you like it or not. You have no options of t turning it off. I mean, the end one of the games even ship without manual transmission. Automatic only. And while well, that is pretty accurate and true to life, at the level of car that you usually get to in the end game of these games, uh, an automatic transmission is fairly common. It's also fairly common in a golf. Not as common anymore though. God damn it, why do people even bother with the automatic transmission? It's a... F I know, I mean, it's a physicality in it that I like. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. As I said, the game promises to have speed hunters events Take place during the day, which you do regular racing, probably split into regular categories, so drifting, track, drag, that sort of thing. 
And you have the illegal underground stuff, which is basically probably points down to drag, drift, and track too, but with the added danger of cops. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to choose to only do one or the other, or if you're forced to mix them. I guess you're gonna be forced to mix them. It would be nice if you could avoid it, but hmm, I don't know. If you look at the trailer, there's a sort of cross like character in there. So maybe there's the, this cheesy Ash story, but that's okay, I like those. They are nice for what they are. You don't exactly get a Need for Speed game for the great Oscar worthy storytelling now, do you? No, you don't. Um, as for the cars, well, they're in there, all the classics. And um, I don't know, that looks good. But um, as I said, it's all gonna come down to driving. And um, I think this is the last chance. If they cock the driving up on this one too, I don't think they're gonna be much to turn. Because then they're gonna be lost, they're gonna be shuffled to the sidelines. And that's really sad, because Need for Speed is still the brand. It is the king of the road, in reality. And, well, if they manage to merge Underground and Pro Street with something good, I'm, I'm tempted to say that I'm, I'm, I might be back. I might be back for good. But... There ain't gonna be no pre-ordering. And there ain't gonna be no... excited waiting with a bit of breath. We're burned by Need for Speed games way too many times. I don't have trust in them anymore. But I have hope. And hope, sometimes all you need. Until next time, stay safe, be kind, and play fair. Bye!